We're here tonight at Brigantine Community School and we are about to learn all about the Dolphin Tank. Okay, so now we're here and we're going to learn all about the dolphin tank. So Donna, we all know what the shark tank is. Tell me, what is the dolphin tank? Okay, so actually the idea did come from the shark tank. Okay. So, um, and we got our inspiration from the Fisher girls, who you're going to meet in a little bit. Um, because their mom texted me and said, would you ever think about having uh, young people at the farmer's market? who could sell things. Uh, she said, my girls really want to be there. And she sent me some pictures from when they were at Ventner's Farmer's Market years ago, like five years ago. So I brought it to the committee. We bounced it around and we decided that we would have young entrepreneurs this year at the Farmer's Market. Okay. So children ages eight to 19, I believe we said, uh, who have a product or a service or a charity Okay. Um, or an organization that they're starting okay. uh, can submit an application and be considered to have a tent at the farmer's market this so year. So where will they find this application if someone does want to apply? Um, they can just email us at brigantinefarmersmarket at gmail.com okay. and we can send them an application. We also know that if they go to the Brigantine Community School that the superintendent, Glenn Roberts, emailed them home to all the parents. So, okay, so check your email. Check your email, and I'm sure <laughs> Mr. Robbins asked all his teachers to put that on Class Dojo. So yeah. check your notifications, parents, because we would love to have your young entrepreneurs at the Brigantine's Farmer's Market. Absolutely. So if they come down to the market, can they also find an application? Yes, I will bring someone Saturday and have them at the information tent right at the beginning of the Farmer's Market. Uh, okay. For those who and want when to does apply. the program officially kick off? So we're going to be accepting applications from now until June twentieth. Okay. And then the committee will meet to review the applications and notify. Um, it's not an arduous process. It's certainly not like wanting to be a vendor at the farmers market. We really want to encourage the children to. So uh, don't be to nervous. Be so don't be nervous. Fill out the application. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll meet and see how many we can fit in starting July 13th. Okay. Saturday, July Will 13th. Will these young entrepreneurs, do they need a tent? Do they need weights? Do they need tables? What do they need to have? Very good question. So the farmer's market's gonna provide the tent, tables, chairs. Oh, fantastic. So they just need to bring their goods or flyers or information, you know, cash box decorations, however they wanna fancy up the tent. And kids, I will give you one pro tip. Farmer's Market <coughs> is always windy. So if you're bringing flyers or papers, bring a rock, bring something for a paperweight. And if you're displaying jewelry, it's incredibly lightweight. So think about your display. Maybe even consider just laying your items flat. And I would say, and I know Donna would agree with me, all of us vendors, we're here to help you. So if you're bringing a product that is um, similar to something that we have, ask us. We'll definitely help you. We might even have extra display items you can borrow. And, and actually one of our uh, farmer's market volunteers, um, a new member on the committee this year, Christina Martin, okay. she has offered to sort of spearhead that the Saturday at those tents so that she could give guidance to the young people Fantastic. and all of that. So, so you're going to get mentorship too yes. if you sign up. Yes. All right, well, uh, one more thing. Okay. Uh, for those that are selling products, we uh, put in the rules that 10% of whatever they make, uh, they have to give to us to donate to the Marine Mammal Stranding Center. Love that. Because we wanted to show them that, yes, you're making money, but we're also part of a community and we like to give back. So is that how it got named Dolphin Tank? Yes. So ah, that's okay. That so right. I'm thinking it's Shark Tank. Combine the two and said, "How about I Dolphin love it. Tank?" Dolphin Tank. So we right. hope to see all you young dolphins down at the farmers market. Come and say hi. Get those applications in, and we'll see you starting July 13th. So let's go meet some of our new young makers. Yes.
Okay, so I am here with Sierra. Sierra, what grade are you in? Seven. So she is a seventh grader right here at Brigantine Community School, and you have created Sun, Salt, and Sea Jewelry. Yes. And she will be one of the very first applicants for the dolphin tank. And what do you make? I make necklaces. Are these your necklaces? Yes, these are my necklaces. I do different um, stones and then I use seashells with a different type of string and they all are clasped. So do you tie on and choose the charms? Yes, I okay. choose the charms that go on each and I have different color things for it. Can someone come and custom order with you or is it going to be what you have in stock? It's going to be what I have. Already. Okay. What is the price point for your necklaces? So the prices start at $8. Okay. So I am looking forward to having you all at the farmer's market. Thank you for showing us all your products. Of course. So now I'm joined by Sierra's younger sisters. I'm Isabel. I'm Kaylee. And I hear you're the real all-stars of the family. Is this true? Yes. Don't tell Sierra. <laughs> so you all made this sign for sun, salt, and sea jewelry. And you've done a great job clearly identifying your prices and your products. Thank High five. You. So what do you have here? Uh, clay bead jewelry bracelets. These are very time consuming to make. I have tried this. And Craig tried it with me and so did Emma. And I will tell you, I think by the time we got halfway through the first bracelet, we're like, okay, we're done here. I will happily pay $6 for a bracelet. Yeah, how they, how long does it take you? Um, each of them take like half an hour. Really? Yes. You're getting fast at this. And what styles do you have over there? Oh, um, just some like um, multicolored ones. Like these are all like in like their own order, and these ones are just like other pretty ones. So, are you more into the neutral color palette? No. No. You like the bright colors too? Yeah. What are your favorite colors? I like blue. Blue. What do you think is going to be your top seller? The Brig ones. I agree. I agree 100%. How much money are you looking to make the first weekend? What's your goal? A thousand dollars. I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> High five. So are you both looking forward to getting started in the Dolphin Tank program? Yes. We yes. Are. So is this very much a group effort or is it split? We, we both make them together. Okay. Is this like your Friday night thing? It's more of an every night thing. Every night thing? Okay, so I like whenever it. Whenever we have time. Okay. All right, girls, so look for their tent. It's going to be sun, salt, and sea jewelry. And get your bracelets before they sell out because I think they're right. They're going to sell out quite fast. And let's help them reach their goal of $1,000. <laughs>